What are you sipping on? Is it scissor? No. Oh, it's not scissor. It's leche. How do you say milk in Spanish? Leche. Good boy. All right, we're not gonna be doing anything with leche. We're gonna be doing something with carne, which means beef in Spanish. So stay tuned. Again, today we're doing carne, which is beef. Cooking with Cad, Caleb, and Dustin. Say hi, Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Behind the lens is always D-Ray, Dustin. Say hi, Dustin. Hi, Dustin. Hi, D-Ray. D-Ray, right? D-Ray. Dustin won his football game today in sudden death overtime. That's how he rolls. He caught the game-winning TD. What's up? All right, so today we're talking about carne, beef. Big beef. We're here in Texas. We do everything bigger. Dustin, show them what we're going to do. Beef. Plate, ribs. Check these out. Yaspa. Four bones, count them. One, two, three, four. We're not gonna do anything to them because they have been trimmed beautifully from Hershey's Specialty Meats in Plano. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip them over. I'm gonna leave that membrane on. We're gonna do garlic, garlic, garlic. Thank you, my little helper. We're gonna do Tony Sachery original Creole seasoning. Then we're gonna do Montreal steak seasoning. And finally, we'll do some pepper. 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 <clears throat> Bless you again, bro. Mm -hmm. These spices get you every time, don't they? Yeah. Flip it over. Garlic, Caleb, don't move that, please. All right, so we've got the garlic there. Tony Sachery's original Creole seasoning to give it a little bit of bite. Montreal Canadian steak seasoning. This is coarse. The only thing I would like to do is grind this up a bit. I think we're gonna start doing that for our future cooks because it is good stuff, but I just don't like how big the chunks are. And last but not least, pepper. Nice liberal coating of pepper. Get that bark forming. And Dustin Ray, that's it. Dino beef ribs, we'll put them on the smoker. We've got the 22 and a half inch Weber Smoky Mountain fired up. It's cruising along nicely, preheating at 225. So Dustin, let me open that up, stay right there. I'll bring these dino ribs over. I'm gonna plop them right in the center. We won't check them for at least two hours. We're gonna let the smoke do its thing. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Two hours in, we're gonna take a look at these. Oh yeah. Dustin, get a look at the bones on this side. Look on the other side as well. They're starting to pull back pretty nicely, but we're gonna let them go probably another hour and a half and then we'll come check the progress again. Okay, so we're checking the progress after three hours. So you can see there's major pullback on these two bones. I haven't mentioned yet, but I like to treat these like a brisket. With my briskets, I don't start even looking at them until they hit at least 200 internal degrees. Same thing with these beef ribs. I'm guessing they're probably at about 160-ish. Let's check and see with a Whataburger orange thermopin. We're gonna hit 160, yep, just like I thought. A little over 160, so these aren't near anywhere done yet. We're gonna let them sit for at least another hour, and then we'll come back and check them. Okay, so we are at about five and a half hours of total cook time, and as you can see, they're probing right at 194. We're gonna let these go probably another 30 to 45 minutes, and the next thing you'll see is we'll probably be carving them up on the cutting board. So the ribs took just over six hours. As you can see though, they came out really nice. Have a 
Nice bark on it. Pull away from the bones. Dustin, let's get this one right here. That one's gonna be the meatiest one right there. Hello? And let's see if we got a money shot or not. I think we do. Look at that, Bubba. Oh, man. Look at that. Shot. Look at that dino rib. That's looking amazing. I think they came out pretty darn well. Look at the juice. We even let them rest about an hour or so. So there you go. Nice little zoom in on that. So anyway, guys, what I wanted to let you know is a lot of people think that doing these dino ribs, these beef ribs are intimidating. They are not. That's the furthest from the truth. You what? just happen to have a little patience what? with them. As you can see, the only thing we did was season them on both sides. We put them in the smoker. We didn't spritz. We didn't mop them. We didn't flip them. Again, with us, it's let the smoke do its work and nothing else. We did check them a few times, of course, for this video to kind of give you a way to, you know, kind of mimic what we're doing if you haven't done these before. But again, do not be afraid of doing beef ribs. They're very easy to do. And again, check this out. If that's not money right there, I don't know what is. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed this how-to on the beef ribs, the dino ribs, the plate ribs, however you want to call it. Go to your butcher. They'll cut some for you. We got these from Hershey's Specialty Meats in Big Plano. Shout out. And I believe they were only $5.49 a pound. Hershey's does weekly specials. You can sign up for their email. Stop. Sign up for their emails to get every week, and they have specials going on every week. This is the one that caught my eye. We love these ribs, right, Caleb? No. Yes, we do. Can we get a thumbs up? Two thumbs up. You get your squishy. So anyway, hopefully you'll like this. Thumbs up it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cooking, Cooking with... with Cad, adios amigos!